Elephant really enjoy eating knob thorns. They also enjoy eating a whole variety of other plants, and it's what makes elephant dung so fantastic. About 70% of the elephant dung comes out completely unused and in its natural state, just a bit chewed up. I mean, have a look at that stick there. You can see that it's just a piece of wood that's been chewed, and inside you can see how fibrous it actually is. So it comes out with a slight mucusy covering, which is what's dried up on the, on the outside there. But on the inside, it's, uh, it's nothing except for just a bunch of really healthy bush, um, bush sticks and bush medicine, basically. As we've been talking about throughout, the, throughout the, this morning's drive, there's a bunch of plants out here that have a lot of medicinal uses. And one of the ways to unlock those medicinal uses is to burn it. Now I have a magnifying glass here. And I'm going to see in this weak sunlight if we can get if we can get a flame going for you. I have other means of generating fire, but let's see if we can get this going. So come on. The sun is behind some clouds at the moment. You can do it. Come on. Let's see where this is the sun gonna come out from behind this cloud anytime soon. You can see that a magnifying glass or a piece of glass is probably one of the easiest ways of generating fire out here in the bush. You just concentrate, you play a little bit until you can get a round bit of light and then you just concentrate that sunlight onto a dry patch and elephant dung takes incredibly quickly. But we are just coming out of winter. The sun is still f relatively far away from, uh, from, um, from where we are. And we're not getting any luck with this. So let me pull out another bag of tricks here. Keep my stick there, my little lollipop. And unpack my bag. You know, these things like my handbag. And pull out my magic powder that I have to keep separated in case they mix in my backpack and set me a light, basically, which would be catastrophic. Mix some of this. This is a, um, this is a antiseptic powder that you use for athlete's foot uh, out here and also to purify water. Um, it is potassium permanganate. And it's a very useful thing. And this is glycerine which is which basically is used as a moisturizer so you can I use it on top of my bald head and three of those and now we just wait a little bit there we go and come on fire <laughs> how amazing is that so now I didn't have to worry about the sun now I just blow it And we have <laughs> some flame. Now, I've been in the Mara for a little bit, and I haven't had my bush fix with uh, with my medicinal plants. And it's not a bad idea to coat yourself in the smoke of elephant dung. It's quite good for headaches. I don't know. For me, it gives me this fuzzy, cotton woolly feeling in the top of my head. And now I can hold it there and basically smother myself in smoke and vim and you. And breathe it in. It's very good. Ooh. Dropping pieces of lit charcoal on me. Not the best idea. Fantastic, eh? So just using the smoke over myself over here now. Breathing it in. It's got a fairly pleasant smell. It's a, it's a, I don't know, how would you explain it, Vim? It's like a woody, grassy smell. It's not at all unpleasant. It reminds me a lot of um, the inside of a crawl with a very herby aftertang, basically. It's quite nice. Good for sinus, which I've had a little bit of this morning. It's also a very good way 
of carrying fire, as you can see. Now, Chastity, dung has so many wonderful uses, you say, it absolutely does. Um, this is also a very, very good fly deterrent. Um, I saw the first time I saw a fly, a fly uh, repellent machine basically was in Zambia where they took an old coffee tin and they plugged some holes in it and then they put an elephant dung in it and they light it and they drive around with it on the front of the car. And it's a wonderful deterrent for tsetse fly which of course is an absolute pest everywhere in the world. Um, and. Uh, the smoke blows over the car, gives you a nice fuzzy feeling, makes you feel all euphoric about how fantastic their game drives are. They are actually quite, they are actually quite nice. And then uh, keeps the flies away as well. As you can see, it generates a lot of smoke. Now, just like this, you can transport this piece of dung around. Once you've made the effort of making a fire, which actually out here is quite a difficult thing to do. In all the years I've been doing survival tricks and things out here, I've never managed to make a fire by friction. It has escaped me. Um, although I will, I will learn it one day and I will show it to you guys. It's just one of those things I have to do. But it's quite, uh, it's quite a lot of effort to make a fire. Once you've made a fire, you don't want to, you don't want to lose it, especially if you have to move around. And elephant dung is one of those fantastic ways of keeping fire. You can wrap this up now in some woven leaves if you want a basket of green leaves uh, plug it with some moss and it'll stay smoldering um, not as fast as this if you take away its oxygen it'll smolder slowly and then whenever you get to you, you where you're going you just put it down again and then you blow and it will eventually erupt into flame and um, and then you can cook your dinner over it, which is of course a very good way to get rid of toxins. It's also a very good way to boil some water uh, and to purify it. And it's a good way of softening up meat protein so that you can utilize it a little bit better. You can just have a look at this wind. Now, now this in this form at this time of the year is an incredibly dangerous thing. Yesterday we were talking about bushfires and these lit piece of elephant dung are one of those ways which you can really, really set this place alight and do a lot of damage I would not be very popular if I don't dispose of this fire in a responsible way and the way that we do that is by completely breaking down the fire and by making sure that it is 100% out before leaving this place all right and on that note, we are going to send you back to the Mara and to those cheetah.